Russia's failing defenses exposed, leaks reveal catalog of errors for Putin's new tank. A Russian tank which reportedly failed trials in Syria has entered military service despite significant defects affecting its combat capabilities. Leaked Russian military reports on the Uran-9 combat unmanned ground vehicle UGV, reveal numerous flaws but it has quietly been accepted by Moscow this week. Prototypes of the tank also called the 766 UPDK, flopped in mechanical, reconnaissance and combat tests last year while in service in the Middle East. A St. Petersburg conference in April last year highlighted the tank's critical deficiencies to Russia's military commanders. A panel held during the 10th All-Russian Scientific Conference, titled Actual Problems of Protection and Security, at the NG Kuznetsov Naval Academy disclosed the tank which is operated remotely, could not perform tasks assigned to it. APN Izimov, senior research officer at the Third Central Research Institute of the Russian Defense Ministry, told Army chiefs technicians lost control of the vehicle 19 times, twice for almost two hours. In the tests, the average range of the vehicle varied at just 300 to 500 meters even in areas with low-rise buildings. The tank also repeatedly broke down and required field repair rendering its design as a remote vehicle useless. The report said it had low reliability in its running gear elements, the supporting and guiding rollers and suspension rings, and its chassis could not be used in ground close combat rolls for a prolonged period. It was also revealed the electro-optic stations that allow reconnaissance and identification of targets did not operate further than 2 km and its 30 mm 2A72 automatic cannon delayed fire six times and failed to operate once. The tank also cannot fire while moving because its arm lacks stabilized optics and sensors meaning it has to stop in order to fire ammunition, severely limiting its combat capabilities. However those deficiencies have not stopped the Russian army putting in an order with defense manufacturer Kalashnikov concern, makers of the AK-47 machine gun. The weapons firm's general director, Vladimir Dmitrev, confirmed orders had been made and put a positive spin on the shortcomings by adding they clearly show how the tank has opportunities for development. Mr. Dmitrev told Russia's state-owned TASS news agency, we are currently completing the production of the first series lot. The Uran have a good scientific and technological potential for developing further products. Another Russian source explained the Syrian test to find new ways to improve the drone tank before mass production began and the industry is now working to increase the Uran 9S range for response time and bandwidth.